just a reminder that about 10 minutes or so after uh, this promotion ceremony, those of you that are virtual, uh, you will come around for uh, in the car loop uh, in order to turn your Chromebooks in and the power cords and to get your child's certificate. It is in the car loop, not the bus loop. So if you see parents going to the bus loop, that is for a kindergarten event. I don't want you to get stuck over there. So make sure you're in the front of the school in the car loop um, and make sure you have Chromebooks and chargers and you'll be able to get certificates. And if you have a brick and mortar student and you are coming around the car loop and you want to take your child home, just please make sure you sign the sign out sheet with your teachers as you come around. All right, those are the housekeeping. I know these uh, ceremonies are uh, kind of on the shorter side, so I'm just going to save my few things and turn it over to Ms. Aqui for a moment. But my biggest thing is I wanna to talk to the boys and girls first. Many of you been here six, seven years. My hope is that you take with you everything that you've learned here at Equestrian Trails and apply it to your middle and high school years. You have been a phenomenal group of students, very well behaved, did your personal best academically. And this year, you really shine through in a very, very difficult year. You showed your strength and perseverance through the entire year. Um, and, and a, like the craziest year ever. And I so, so appreciate your hard work, boys and girls, and all of that. I'm just gonna give you some words of wisdom, some advice as you move uh, for your next uh, step next year in middle school. And that is pay attention to your surroundings and choose your friends carefully. I will tell you that what I have found in middle school, it's a, it's a very difficult time. You know, you're going through a lot of changes, your hormones are kind of crazy. And if you are with the wrong group of students or you pick the wrong friends, sometimes that is not a good influence for your academic career uh, nor social career. So just make sure that the people you are around are good people, uh, people that you can trust and make sure that you are, you know, introducing them to your parents um, and just making some really good choices. Some of you will be taking high school courses in middle school. And those are going to count towards your GPA. And that's what they use to look at you for colleges and any kind of secondary schools. So please, please, if you're going to take those classes, make sure that you are working hard because it can kind of mess you up for high school. And uh, again, choosing your friends, find those friends that push you to your best person that you can be. For parents out there, I just want to make sure that you too know your child's friends. You know, they're not they're not adults yet um, and they still need your guidance 110 percent. They might need your guidance more in the next three years for middle school than they did for elementary school. So please, please know their friends, know where they are, know what they're doing. It's OK to put some kind of strict rules on curfews, all that kind of thing. Um, they may not like you for a little bit and that's OK. You're not you don't have to be their friend now. You can be their friend later when they're 21 and out of college and, and you can uh, have fun together. But for middle school years, it's probably the most difficult time for the boys and girls, and they are going to need you and your guidance. If you ever need anything, we're still here for you. I've had many parents still call me or send emails with, what do I do in this situation? Even if it has to do with faculty, uh, things happening next door or wherever your middle school is, please know that we are still here for the students that attended Equestrian Trails and we always will be. I cannot tell you boys and girls how much I hope you have a wonderful summer. I know that it's a short summer, so you need to enjoy every moment. Last summer, it was cut short. Uh, and on top of that, we were kind of stuck inside. So please make sure you get out and enjoy the outdoors, uh, relax, uh, make sure you get um, rested and all that stuff because middle school is right around the corner. All right, at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Ms. Daqui uh, for her last words of the year. Ms. Daqui, you, you're muted. Oh my goodness, that those infamous words. I hope I never hear those words again <laughs> after this year. But anyways, good morning, boys and girls. Um, yes, this was a definitely a test of time this year very, very challenging, but um, is actually a special year because 
you are a group of students who had two very outstanding teachers who um, are going to be moving on to another adventure as well. So consider yourselves lucky um, for Mrs. Prieto and Mrs. Rignaris and also Mrs. Esopakis, but we're surely going to miss them. Um, but yes, as Mrs. Johnson is saying, um, you definitely want to keep your friends true, um, true to yourself. And like me, I prefer to just have a very few best friends, like a handful. And then, of course, you know, your circle of support that you're, you're going to need. Um, like Mrs. Johnson said, um, we are here for you, too. We're just an email away. If you're ever in a trouble and you need somebody to talk to or email and you need somebody to trust at school, getting, you know, situated for middle school and not really knowing everybody, we are just an email away. Um, but just best of luck to you. I really hope you enjoy this summer with your family and friends and I hope to do the same as well so that we can come back for the new school year and be ready to kick off an exciting year and, and it's going to be an, a very exciting year for you. So um, good luck to you all. We love you and um, we hope you keep in touch. Thank you, Ms. Daqui. Okay, at this time, I'm going to turn it over to Mrs. Esopakis' class. Remember, those of you that are virtual, you are to come off your camera um, so that we can see you. And uh, the rest of us, we're going to be muted and cameras off. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And happy last day of school. I just want to say that I am so proud of each and every one of my 67 students. It was an absolute pleasure being their science teacher this year, science and writing. Uh, we survived a very, very challenging year together, and I am just so proud that we were able to overcome the many obstacles that were in our way. And parents, kudos to you. I know this was not easy as parents. Uh, I am not only your child's teacher, but I'm also a fifth grade parent, so I was right there with you in the trenches. And uh, pat yourselves on the back because you too supported your child and, and made it to this end of the school year. So congratulations to all. At this time, I'm going to recognize the students in my class for the completion of their fifth grade year. So proud of them. So I am going to call the students up. They're going to receive their certificate, and then you'll have a chance for like two seconds to snap their photo uh, before I call the next student, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start with Levi Abraham. Come on up. There you go. Congratulations. <laughs> Ferris Amad. Manil Chabria, go ahead and uh, wave to everyone. He is my virtual student. Here's your certificate. And I hope to see you in a little bit to pick your certificate up, okay? <laughs> so proud of you. Adrian Cure. E. Janelle Demosen. Looks very sharp today, might I add. <laughs> Matthew Demian. Hilaria Francis. Just got it. Can you record the screen? Nayland Gosepi. Joshua Johnson. Okay, maybe because people are saying maybe because there was a, a Gmail? No, so she's supposed to do it. Caitlin Johnson. Mm -hmm. 
Molly Keitel. Isaiah Knox Brennan. Shane Leventhal. Ayla Light. Alyssa Mubdi is not here today, but we do want to recognize her. So hopefully if she watches the recording. Oh, she came. Oh, hi, Alyssa. Come on up. <laughs> she wasn't here three minutes ago. <laughs> Isabel, Isabella Peralta. Jacob C. <laughs> Divya Singh. <laughs> Dylan Sub. <laughs> Hendrick Thomas. Peyton Vecchia. And finally, Brooklyn Williams. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, everyone. I'm going to go ahead and pass the torch over to Mrs. Prieto. Good morning, parents, children. Wow been another amazing year in spite of, like everyone said, the challenges, but challenges is what makes us stronger, isn't it? Um, I'm, for the first time at a loss for words, <laughs> each class is special, but this one is unique for many reasons, but it's going to be kind of cool because we get to go to middle school together. And after 38 years of teaching, I get to graduate with my kids. <laughs> it's unique. Um, Remember, you know, the things that we learned through our studies of history, to be upstanders, to do the right thing, and indifference is like being an accomplice. So make a difference, and don't be indifferent, okay? I love you guys. So, without any further ado, I'd like my, my home, uh, the kids at home to have their cameras on. I see Brendan, I see Caleb looking for Nina, but maybe she's just not on my screen. And I really have to give you kids at home a lot of credit uh, for the, you know, to stay motivated and to be on your game. And you made me very proud. And likewise, the children in here, the way you helped one another and supported one another and cared for one another. You can't ask for anything more as your teacher. Okay, here we go. So Nina um, Ahmed, I don't know if you're here, honey, but here's your certificate. And um, we'll put it in the front office for you. Uh, you know, if someone in your family can swing by and pick it up. Okay. And next is Zoe Abercamp. Here you go, Zoe. And then just stand in. 
Uh, Kayla, here's your certificate, and I'll see you out in the car loop to take it. You know, it was wonderful having you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in a little bit. Cooper Harris. I'm still going to attempt to keep up my desk, please. Okay. Connor Hughes. Lexi Jenkins. Sorry. Here we go. Rachel Fender. Van Lam. Ariella Lewis. Emma Lubowitz. Colin McGeary. Kenneth Morrison. Okay, Grant Myers. Alyssa Mania. Cole Otankis. Free arm. Isabella Regalado. Brendan Singer, sorry, Brendan, I got, I got a little ABC order mixed up. But what do you expect from your LA teacher, right? <laughs> sorry about that. This is yours. I'll have it out front for you. Uh, Rachel Weiner. And there you have it, the class of 2021 headed off to uh, middle school. And I just want to have one final comment. I want to have a special thank you to uh, Mrs. Johnson, Mrs. Dequee, and most importantly, this beautiful community. I will miss you tremendously. I love you. Okay, we're going to pass it on to Mrs. Regnerus's class. There we go. There we go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Nice to see you. This is our class. Uh, anyway, first I want to thank parents for a great year and all the support. Uh, 
the party last night was fabulous and they had a wonderful time all week long yes yeah yes. thanks so much all right and hopefully they learned a little bit in math i know it was tough and difficult and some of you got a little extra help here and there but hopefully y'all will do well next year in middle school math will be easy and you'll take Lots of tricks and skills I taught you. On with you to high school and college. So let's go on. I'm going to do the virtual students first. So I have the most. Sarvesh Amacha. I had him two years last year in my math and this year as virtual. I have Catherine Chen, also was in my also in my academic games two years. Yani Asopakis. <laughs> Chase Greenberg. I would also like to say I'm so glad we got to meet you in person, at least only those couple testing days. It was so nice to see you all. Who's that? Jeffrey Lewis. <laughs> Dash Lubson. <laughs> Luca Nardi. <laughs> Victoria Ramirez Rodriguez. Who's quiet on virtual but not in person. Chloe Shaw. And Chanel Chow. So we will see you with those outside shortly. And here we go. Miss Bridie Davis or Bridges. Oh, ma'am. Thank Congratulations. You can move up closer if you want. Marlo Davis, stay here. And you're not, uh, you stay here, and your mom can get one of both of you together if you want. Wait, let Marlo do by herself, and then they then. All right, come on on, Brady. Mom, you can have them both. There we go. Anna Denson. <laughs> and thanks for being my room, Mom. Hey, Paul. Daniel Feichner. Congratulations. Okay. Brindley Fogarty. <laughs> Backwards. <clears throat> Helena Francis. So ready to get rid of these masks. Give you a deal. Oh, well, oh, then you don't get the certificate, do we? Anthony Laporte had a muscle. Another two year per student of mine in some ways. Oh, you want this? <laughs> Back up a little bit. There you go. Elise Mendoza. Self in the camera. Ashton Noble. All dressed up. Misha Shaw. <laughs> Valentino Arrive. <laughs> Make the final, you know. And 
last but not least, Nathaniel Zach. And thank you, Mom, for being my room mom, too, and coming in yesterday. And that is my homeroom class. And I, too, will miss all the families. And I've had several of my students' siblings, and goes on and on and on. But this year, actually, one of my past students was valedictorian at Palm Beach Central. So I hope to see one of you there that in uh, how many years? Seven? Two. Got it. On we go. Thank you all. Have a great summer. All right, everyone. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A big thank you to all the parents, again, to all the students and to your three teachers. And I too want to wish Mrs. Vigneris and Mrs. Prieto the absolute best in the next chapter of their lives. they got a new chapter just like you do, boys and girls. Um, just remember all the things again that you've learned. Have a fabulous summer. Remember that you are coming through the car loop uh, if you are a virtual student to get your certificate. And um, I know your teachers will be excited and your friends to see you there. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful summer and remember we're always here for you. Love you all.